In this video, we see the next numerical problem based on the concept of properties of inverse trigonometric functions. We have already seen one numerical problem to the same. Let's get started with another numerical problem and this topic is important from examination point of view. So we'll also be seeing more problems in depth in the next videos. Let's see this problem, what this question has to say. Let's read the question together. Find the value of tan inverse tan 5 pi by 6 plus cos inverse cos 13 pi by 6. Now for these questions, I have already told you what is needed. We need to understand the concept of principal value branch. I made you draw a table, learn it and understand it by watching the video in which I discuss the table and then apply the concept in this question and the questions related to this. Let's see how to do it. Tan inverse tan 5 pi by 6. I know one thing that the principal value branch of tan inverse is from minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. Does 5 pi by 6 lie in minus pi by 2 to pi by 2? No, not at all. So I need to do something in order to make this 5 pi by 6 lie in the range. So my question changes to tan inverse tan pi minus pi by 6. If I modify 5 pi by 6 in a manner as pi minus pi by 6, isn't it incorrect? No, it's correct because pi minus pi by 6 and 5 pi by 6 mean the same thing, right? Now plus cos inverse, what about 13 pi by 6? Does 13 pi by 6 lie in the range of principal value branch of cos inverse? No, because the range is what? 0 to pi, we already have learnt in the previous video. So, this should be modified. 13 pi by 6 can be written as something else. What can it be written as? 2 pi plus pi by 6? Yes, 2 pi plus pi by 6. Because if you write 13 pi by 6 as 2 pi plus pi by 6, 6 to the 12 and 1 pi is added, that means 13 pi. Now, you have both these things. What else is now required? We have to understand and apply the concept of trigonometry now. Because inverse is outside, but inside it's just a trigonometric function. Tan 180 minus theta is what you have learned in your previous classes that tan 180 minus theta means which quadrant? It means the second quadrant. And the second quadrant has tan as negative, so it is minus tan theta. And what about cos 360 plus theta? Cos 360 degree plus theta means the first quadrant again. And first quadrant has everything as positive. So it is simply cos theta. Both these points are important. And so we apply the knowledge. Tan inverse. Tan 180 minus theta is minus tan theta. What do you mean by that? It means minus tan theta pi by 6. The plus follows as it is. Cos 360 plus theta is plus cos theta. So cos inverse outside and cos theta. Now, minus sign would go inside. So it becomes tan inverse tan minus pi by 6 plus cos inverse cos pi by 6. Now, tan inverse nullifies with tan, cos inverse cancels with cos. What we are left is minus pi by 6 plus pi by 6. Minus pi by 6 from where? From here. So, minus pi by 6 comes here plus pi by 6 comes here. Now, what happens? Minus something plus the same thing is nothing but as 0. So, the answer is 0. This is the answer. What did we do in this question? We just used the knowledge of principal value branch, solved it accordingly and used two important things that we learnt in our class 11th that tan 180 plus theta and cos 360 plus theta. Tan 180 minus theta I mean which lies in the second quadrant so it makes tan negative. Cos 360 plus theta lies again in the first quadrant so it makes cos positive. In the next video, we'll be seeing one more important problem based on the concept of 
principal value branch.